Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches Algebra from Home. It's the year 2020, the year of the quarantine. And maybe this video will be some kind of uh, memorial to this, uh, this uh, you know, very awful year. So I'm having to redo a lot of these things because I'm having to teach differently, but I make these videos for you. This is lesson 2.4, solving multi-step inequalities. And of course, the essential question is, how can you solve a multi-step inequality? And the answer is quite simple. It's very similar to solving a, um, uh, sorry about this. There you go. It's very similar to solving a multi-step equation. All of our all of our properties for inequalities and equations are the same, except remember, when we divide by or multiply by a negative number, we have to reverse the inequality symbol. That's it. Otherwise, it's the same. And let's look at some examples right now. And uh, let's see what we got. So first, we have y divided by negative 6, and we add 7 to that. And all that is less than 9. So I need to first get rid of... Uh, the the seven here so i'm going to subtract seven from both sides and that's going to give me <clears throat> y divided by negative six is less than nine minus seven which is two now i'm going to multiply both sides by negative six i'm going to clear out negative six divided by negative six that gives me y on the left it gives me negative 12 on the right and look this positive side becomes a negative side we're going to reverse the inequality symbol around because I, I multiplied both sides by a negative number which means the sides change signs so y is greater than negative 12 we're asked to graph this one um, 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 we'll call this negative 12 it's going to be an open circle because that's my boundaries at negative 12 but I'm not including negative 12, and I want the numbers that are greater than negative 12 on my graph. So I'm graphing to the, to the right. Okay, let's take a look at example B. 2V minus 4 is greater than or equal to 8. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides as my first step. That's why we call these multi-step equations, of course, because, well, I've got more than, I've got more than uh, one step I have to uh, do here. So that leaves me 2v on the left, and that's going to be greater than or equal to 12. I can divide both sides by 2. It's a positive 2. So um, this side just still stays v. Positive 12 stay, uh, becomes positive 6. So my inequality symbol stays the same. And graphing this, we'll call this 0, 2, 4, 6, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to use a closed dot at my boundary because I want to include 6 as part of my solution set because V is also equal to 6. And then I'm going to shade to the right because I need to include the numbers that are greater than 6. So this is greater than or equal to 6. Okay, that's example one. If you need to uh, pause this to get this into your notes, do that now. Otherwise, we will see you on the next screen. Example two. Solving an inequality with variables on both sides. So again, this is uh, similar to what we do with equations. We need to collect the variable terms on one side and the constants on the other side. And it doesn't really matter which order you do them in, but you need to get everything on, uh, you need to separate them. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do the constants first. And again, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add five to both sides. And actually, I'm not looking at the book when I do this, even though this example is in the book. Hopefully, I'm doing it a different way than the book shows because well, I need you guys to see different ways of doing the same problems. We'll get you the answers. As long as you're following the, the uh, properties and aren't making any math errors, you should come up with the same solution. So I have 6x on the left is less than 2x plus 16 on the right. So now I can subtract 2x from the right, make that a 0. And whatever I do to the right, I must do to the left. So I'll subtract 2x over there. That 
makes the left side 4x and that makes the uh, right side 16 so 4x is less than 16 so dividing both sides by 4 x is less than 4 okay so that is pretty straightforward we're not asked to graph that one uh, but that is again just like the equations collect the variable terms on one side like we did uh, like I did here collect all the constants on the other side like I did here right and then go ahead and uh, solve for your um, variable okay let's take a look at example three inequalities with special solutions so this again is like the equations and what and uh, if you have a variable on both sides sometimes it's not gonna work out so let's take a look at these two examples here so first I've got 8b let me go ahead and rewrite this down lower so we can have some room to work 8 times b minus 3 is greater than 4 times the quantity 2b plus 3 okay um, so let's go ahead and uh, simplify on the right side because I've got this uh, I've got this uh, situation going on over here with a uh, dis distributive property right so the left side stays the same 8b minus 3 is greater than okay distribute 4 times 2b is uh, 8b and then 4 times 3 is 12 okay so now we want to collect the variable terms on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 8b from the right side. And the same amount from the left side, also 8b. Oh, but look, it cancels out on both sides to a 0. 8b minus 8b is 0 on both sides. That leaves me negative 3 on the left is greater than 12 on the right. This is a false statement. This is not true. Negative 3 is less than 12. So this is uh, false. This is uh, not true. I'll say false. But the answer to the question, what to remember we're solving this, this is no solution. So this kind of goes back to what we did in the previous chapter on equations. This is no solution. And once again, the meaning of that is there is no value we can substitute for B in the original in the original equations that will ever make this true. Let's look at example B. 2 times the quantity 5 times W minus 1 is less than or equal to 7 plus 10 W. Okay, let's distribute on the left side. 2 times 5 W is uh, 10 W. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And the right side will stay the same, 7 plus 10 W. Let's go ahead and collect our variable terms on one side. So negative 10 W. Negative 10 W on both sides. Hey, look, they cancel out equally on both sides. I think that's always really the point when we have these special, um, these special solutions here. What does that leave me? It leaves me negative 2 is less than or equal to 7. This is a true statement. Negative 2 is indeed less than positive 7. So the solution here is all real numbers. Let's put a box around that. And again, what does that mean? That means in the original inequality, I could put any value in for W on both sides, and this will always be true. It doesn't matter. It will always be true. Okay. So there's one more example in the book, but we're going to save that for class or our Zoom meeting, whatever you want to call it. But before you go, try these. So go ahead and pause the, uh, pause, uh, pause the video here, complete these, and I'll have you put the answer into the end of the uh, Juno pod. Uh, so 
go ahead and pause it because I'm going to end the video right now. But thanks a lot for being such a great class, and I will see you when I see you, hopefully soon. Bye-bye.